most little leaguers one day dream of making a major league roster and ultimately playing in the World Series. And for one local product out of Sacramento, he's living that dream and then some. Fastball hit to left. It is long gone. If you've been paying attention to the MLB playoffs this year, chances are you've heard the name Reese Hoskins. Left center field, Reese Hoskins, redemption again. Long before Hoskins was hitting postseason homers for the Phillies, he was a young kid growing up in Sacramento who attended Jesuit high school before taking his talents to Sac State. And his former collegiate coach knew he was destined for greatness. Yeah, you know, his freshman year, he was freshman All-American for us, and he, he certainly knew that he was uh, an exceptional young talent. Uh, it's been a, been a lot of fun to watch, and for him to be playing in the World Series is certainly exciting for him and his family and for our program as well. Oddly enough, Reese was not heavily recruited coming out of high school. Um, kind of a hidden gem, to be honest with you. Saw him play, fell in love with how he played, and what really the only school to offer him a scholarship. Now, Reese is not the only Sacramento area person in the fall classic. And Mauricio Dubon, uh, who's a, you know, a backup reserve player for the Houston Astros, um, Capital Christian kid. I coached him when he was 15 years old one summer, so cool for me to be able to see people on the field actually competing in it that I, that I know. While Reese has made quite the impact on the field, he's an even better person off of it. He's just very humble. You know, I mean, he's representing, I tell you, he's representing um, Sacramento as a whole, the university in such a great way. He's just a humble leader. And uh, it's just very cool to see him live out his childhood dream. Now, for more on this story, be sure to head to our website, abc10.com.